Hello. Do you eat your veggies? I think not. I think you don't eat as many vegetables as you should. According to the USDA, most adults should have two to three cups of vegetables daily. So what can you do to help alleviate this problem? Well, don't worry, I've got you, which is why I present to you on this day, in this hour, Next level tuna salad, people. Let's go. Let's start the video. That is all. You will need 20 ounces of wild caught albacore tuna, two tablespoons of dill relish, one cup of jalapeno peppers, one cup of shredded carrots, and one cup of cauliflower. You will also use mayonnaise of your choice and yellow mustard. You will begin by taking your cauliflower, just one cup of it, and dicing it up into little bite-sized pieces. This is going to add some wonderful texture to your tuna as well as act as a filler instead of eggs. Cauliflower is low in cholesterol low in saturated fats, has a high amount of potassium, a high amount of protein. It has 472% of the vitamin C that you need in your daily allowance, high in B6 iron, and it is high in fiber. Potassium is a powerhouse food. And dice it up just like you see I'm doing here into the smallest bite-sized pieces you can get. Now you're going to take your carrots and dice them up into bite-sized pieces as well. Now carrots are going to give you your vitamin A which is beta carotene. It's going to give you some iron, some calcium, some potassium, and some vitamin C as well as some dietary fiber. So let's add these carrots to the dish and make it work, baby. Very important. Not only are we going to add these carrots to our dish, but we're going to steam them because carrots are a little more firm than I would like for them to be in the dish. We will do that after we finish our mise en place, which is basically prepping all our vegetables so that everything's ready to go into the dish when we're assembling it. Our next ingredient is pickled jalapeno peppers. And trust me, not only will they add some heat and flavor and pop to your dish, but listen to this nutrient profile on these jalapeno peppers. They are high in vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K. They also contain thiamine and they're high in vitamin B6, they have folate, they have panthenoic acid, they have calcium, they have potassium, they have magnesium, they have copper and manganese. You can't get away from the nutrient profile on these jalapeno peppers, so do not neglect to add them to the dish if you don't have a problem making your dish spicy. And that is another reason why this is next level tuna salad, people. We got a kick going on. I feel a kick coming up. I feel a hoop coming up. I feel a kick. I feel some heat. I feel a boom. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not taking that out, people, so don't come for me. Just enjoy the dang gone tuna salad when you make it and consume it, baby. So next you're going to take your carrots and put them in a steamer. If you don't have a steamer, you can also use a strainer with some boiling water. 
um, but I have a little steamer here. You're going to place the carrots in the steamer and you're going to cover it. And this only has to stay, you just want to take the, the crispiness off of them a bit. You don't want to overcook them. So about two to three minutes, three to four minutes, depending on what texture you'd like. And once it's all done, you take it off the steamer and put it back in your bowl and get ready to assemble. So here we go. We have our tuna drained and sitting in the corner there. And we have all our ingredients all around. So let's go ahead and place our tuna into the bowl. And in no particular order, I am just have them lined up this way. So I'm just going to add the ingredients from right to left going around. I'm going to go ahead and add the jalapeno peppers. You see me scraping the dish to get all the peppers in. And then I'm adding the cauliflower. Then I will add the carrots next. And after the carrots, I will toss in my relish. And I'm showing you there the texture of the carrots and how much I steamed them so that um, they are to the texture that I like, but you're more than welcome to steam them a little more if you'd like. Um, same thing with the cauliflower. I don't usually recommend steaming the cauliflower though because it would make it too mushy in my opinion, but if you want, you can. Next, you're going to get your hands in there and really smash and mush around all the ingredients. I like to do this with my fingers and that's why I have the gloves on because I don't like getting tuna fish under my nails and I don't want my hands to smell fishy because fishy hands is not kosher people in my opinion. Anyway, but dig in there really well. You'll break up the tuna into small pieces and get everything mixed together like you really want it. And then when you have the pieces mostly broken up, you can move on to the next step. So here I'm just showing you the way the tuna looks after everything's all mixed together. You can see it's very cohesive. You can see that all the ingredients are pretty much evenly distributed throughout the tuna. And so we've got a, quite a number of servings of vegetables in there. So now we're going to add our mayonnaise. And I don't know if I showed you guys, the mayonnaise I used is one I'm using for the very first time. It is Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, which means there's no egg in it. Um, add the mustard to whatever level you'd like. Um, and then just mix together. Now, back to that mayonnaise. This was my first time trying it. And I usually don't add a lot of mayo to my tuna salad because regular mayo is very creamy and it provides a really good consistency for me. So I bought this and I added it and I mixed it in and the, it's mixing well. And I will say I felt good at first as I was mushing everything together and mixing everything together, getting it to you know blend well. But I have to say that I was disappointed with this mayonnaise, but I did a taste test first and I thought, wow, the flavor is good, but you see what I just did. I just put more of that vegan Hellman's mayonnaise in there and I mixed it in again. Now at this point, that's usually a lot more mayo than I would use if it were regular mayo. So I would say this, the vegan mayonnaise does not provide the creaminess that I would like with my tuna salad. So I mixed and I mixed and I mixed and I mixed. And then I thought, well, I tasted it. I need to add something else to give it a little more kick. Even though at this point, you see, it still looks pretty dry. It's not as creamy as I would like. But I tasted it. See, I used a fork this time, people. Please don't double dip taste, especially if you're sharing this with other people. At that point, I added a little bit of chili paste because I needed to make it a little bit hotter, people. I like hot, spicy food. And I'm telling you, that kick of chili paste 
made a huge difference. But again, it still looks kind of dry, right? So if you can see my face, which I'm glad you can't, I'm like, this is some dry tuna salad. I wish I had used regular mayo. So at this point, I'm really thinking to myself, oh my God. But not to panic. I wound up adding the entire rest of that vegan mayonnaise to the tuna salad. But look at it, people. It's nice and creamy now. That is like triple the amount of mayonnaise I normally have to add to a tuna salad. But voila, here we go. Now, I serve mine to reduce my gluten content as much as possible with some corn tortilla chips, but you're welcome to use whatever crackers you would want. And I've even served it with some ruffles dipping chips before, potato chips, um, whatever you like. You can put it on a bun and have a tuna sandwich. Do whatever you like that makes you happy. But this is a very delicious tuna salad, very nutritious tuna salad. And you are getting some servings of vegetables. And if you serve it with tomatoes, a little bit of fruit so that you can try to help yourself reach that goal of anywhere from two, actually for larger men, up to five servings of vegetables daily for adequate nutrition, good fiber, healthy diet, and what can I say, it's delicious. Honey, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below, do something to help me to know that you appreciate me coming to you with the foods that I eat and enjoy and want to share with you guys. Bye for now and thanks for watching.